Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. Now, today I'm going to be talking about um, numerology in a nutshell. So I'm basically going to talk about um, some of the life path um, numbers and just my opinion and perspective on my experience of dealing with certain life paths. Uh, first, I wanted to talk about was life path seven i am a life path seven and i find that i know they talk about life path sevens as being more of the mystics you know more of the people that um consider unknown and weird and bizarre and you know the slightest way like if there was like a a spaceship that literally came here down here on earth I know the life path sevens would have been like, you know, not, I'm very curious to know, like, can I just get on that spaceship? Because I don't think I'm supposed to be here. And that makes sense in any way possible because it does for me. So um, even if like, I just find that even as being a life path seven, I just feel like I like to know the deeper meanings of things that are hidden or not seen within this realm or within this world. Like superficial conversations to me are very boring to me, you know, just boring. Like, I don't know, somebody that talks about like the game, you know, if they talk about the news, I don't like watching the news because in my opinion, you don't know what is true and what's not. And I tend to not like the news in general because I find it to be very toxic at times when you listen to it but then I don't know maybe it's my perspective because I'm more emp empathic in a way because I pick up on people's energy so maybe that could be the reason why I don't watch television but I just don't feel like it has more deep meaningful or purposeful things to learn from you know what I mean because I feel like sometimes television can cause some things can cause fear-based thinking. But my point is, is, as being a life path seven, I feel like we are loners in this world. And, and people don't understand, like, when they mean, like, a loner, they just mean, like, a loner. Like, I like people, and I do, but sometimes I like being by myself. You know what I mean? It, it's just... I can be around people and sense people's energies. You know, again, like I say, I'm very empathic. So like an empath. So I can pick up on certain people's subtle energies, like who they are as a person. You know, if they're genuinely a good person or a bad person or a person that I just will not be around, especially if their energy is very like chaotic and like struggling with resistance or like inside they're having an internal struggle. I can feel that because then I pick up on that and I'm like, I don't really want to be around that person. Their energy is a little bit too heavy and dense and it's going to bring me down. So I just try to see if I can um, separate that. So it's just like, I find that as life path, life path um sevens i always think to myself do you guys actually build actual relationships or do you just feel like you're disconnected from this world and it's just hard to really build relationships with people meaningful purposeful relationships with people at least for me because i can't do superficial superficial to me is not existing it's like obsolete it doesn't make sense to me so even when somebody wants to talk about, I don't know, like the latest news or like the hot topics in the world, even Democrats, like I know that I shouldn't even be talking about politics, but because everybody has their own opinion, but politics, I don't like talking about politics because I don't like picking sides. I don't like picking sides. I don't think we should have to pick a side. I think we should be able to do things in a diplomatic manner where we can all work together to to kind of find one decision where it creates some type of harmony but again this is the real world you can't do that in the world so um my take is that you know as being a life path it's sometimes it, it's a struggle you know what i mean because there are some times where i find myself at alone and you know being alone many times by myself you know and there are times where um i really would just love to be able to connect with this person, connect with that person, but there's only so much I can do because I can size a person up and know 
the depth of information I can be able to explore, especially if they're narrow minded, like if they only have these certain beliefs or they only believe this, this and that, that I only know I can only go only this above the surface for, for, for more above the surface and I can't go that deep. Now, when they have a broad mind and they're more open with curiosity, that allows me to be able to um, throw out some ideals and just run with it of being able to have a vast intellectual conversation, stimulating, very meaningful conversation because I know I can talk on a vast majority of topics that are just unknown and not heard of in this world. So it's just, it's hard. I find it very hard, you know, and I feel like sevens are very smart and they're they're always thinking like I'm always thinking even when somebody's talking and they're saying something that to me may not make sense I can just be thinking of other things for me to be doing you know at that moment but I'm always thinking of something you know I can put stuff together pretty quickly and look at something and like piece everything together like I get a part here a part here and then I just basically find something that makes a lot of sense but um yeah, that's what I find with Life Path 7. I wanted to talk about Life Path 11. You know, they're really um, intriguing, very, you know, different, you know, from everybody else. And that's the thing about it. They're different in their own unique way that makes them very special and, and just precious to me. Because I find that when I did meet an, a, a Life Path 11, when I looked into his eyes, I could see the depth of looking at the emotions that he had. And it was like a vast majority of like emotions. Like I could look into his eye to see a vast ocean of deep emotions. You know what I mean? That that really you could see right into him having a lot of emotions at a deep level. And then I feel like if you guys know anything about um, chakras... His heart was very loving and very giving towards others. I could intuitively see that he had a selfless heart where he would give, 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 give. And it would be like, but after a while, it's like you give so much and then you end up being taken advantage of. And then you have walls up that you just don't know who you can trust. That's what I find with life path settings where they can go through so much trauma and still get to a point where people do things to them that they have to put literally walls up to literally see if they can really like kind of like trust you you know what I mean like and it's easy for them to decipher if you're good or not like they can that's like a radar or being able to harness it in sense in a way because they don't have a lot of friends and they're very limited on who they allow in their inner circles and when they do the amount of compassion and love that they give towards you is just beautiful because I could see at the core of his heart that he genuinely was a good person and had a, a, a precious, beautiful heart that could give to others. Well, life path, excuse me, 11s are, are different and, and then they like to make it look like I want to be like it, but you're not. You understand like you live multiple past lives to get where you are to abstain yourself in a prestige position. You know what I mean? For you to be where you are because not a lot of people can uphold that energy and be able to harness it at the capacity that you can do. I remember numerous times when he would come into a room, he didn't even have to say much. His presence was enough to be affected by people to alert them that he was in the room. And you know what I mean? Like he didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to be silly. You know, some people have to prove themselves because they operate sometimes on ego. But he didn't have to do that. He, his presence was already enough to be a commanding presence that he could just be there and people just automatically just respond to him. And it was more like respond like, how are you doing? Or asking him a question or like including him in a conversation and it, it's just very subtle you know like he, it's like his presence alone is enough to impact so many people and that's another thing i wanted to say about life path 11s they are truly healers you know graceful like 
just really good healers. He had a really good, and I don't even know if he even knew this, and I wanted to express this. He had a really good calming presence, a calming, peaceful, tranquility presence when he was around. At least when I was around his vicinity of being around him. It was just such a beautiful calming. And I've never experienced that. Me being Life Path 7, I'm used to being around this person's every day. But his energy was so tranquility, so much peace that it was like a, a rush of like, I don't know, maybe maybe there was some type of energy that was being exchanged but he i don't he was i just felt like he was a true healer he had a healing presence they are different but that's what really makes them individually different from all the other people because the energy that you hold is very special because nobody can get that energy and i feel like you only have to attain that over learning so many lessons then you get to a point to harness it and you know and you have that energy and it's such a i always and i remember one time i was saying to him i wish there was more people like him in the world his calming presence was just a let it be known enough to calm somebody if they had anxiety or calm somebody if they were going through some type of fear i just i even said to myself i wish we could just take his energy in a laboratory like a scientist and put it in like a tube and like literally have his energy and like literally distribute dis dis distribute it like all over the world so that it can be an actual store so that when people are going through anxiety or fear or anxiousness or even the slightest bit of feeling they could just take his energy and like put it into like an ointment or some type of oil and rub it on their body and it instantly feel a sense of calmness because that energy is very powerful in its own way they are such beautiful souls to me. Um, I want to talk more about more numerology as far as um, getting into life path. Um, I think I'll just leave it at that note for today between life path sevens and life path um, elevens. And please comment down below and tell me your experience as being a life path seven. Do you feel like you have struggles connecting with other people? On, on deeper levels at least I feel but I don't know what everybody else feels and it's like that pull and tug of wanting to relationships and then you just retreat back into your own little world which is very interesting um and comment down like path 11s if you can I appreciate it um if you guys can express and if you guys feel like sometimes you're so different from everybody but you know what that's so special you know what i mean like you guys have the key the the key for infinite possibilities like your presence alone is just a precious gift um because nobody can harness that energy only you can all right thank you guys for listening and um you guys have a wonderful day